Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop has received a point release update, which started rolling out on the 13th of July, which was yesterday in my region. Now, I actually haven't received this latest update uh, for the stable version, but if we head to the release notes for Edge Stable, um, it does say, uh, and they always do note, that for the stable channel, updates will roll out progressively um, over one or more days. So if you are like me and haven't received the update yet, uh, just be patient as I'm sure you will be getting the update sooner than later. Now, the update takes the uh, point release from point 0.49 to point 0.60 and the latest version now is 103.0.1264.60 and um, they say they have fixed various bugs and performance issues. So if you've experienced any issues in the browser when it comes to performance, bugs, uh, stability problems or general issues, just make sure you have this latest update. Now there is a known issue which they say we recommend that users install this update to, to address the following issue. And it's to do with um, the 32-bit version of Windows 10 version 1809. So for whatever reason, if you are still running that version of Windows 10, they say uh, you may experience startup issues with the upcoming July non-security Windows updates, which are the optional C-release updates, which will roll out near the uh, end of this month, July. And they say they uh, this is fixed with the latest Microsoft Edge stable channel release, which is this version and build that is just rolled out. And then the enterprise users encountering this issue um, on the extended stable channel version 102 need to disable the new smart screen library enabled policy. So the long and the short uh, is if you are still running Windows 10 version 1809, um, this update will address any upcoming issues with that C release update rolling out near the end of this month. And if you are on the um, stable version of uh, Microsoft Edge, just make sure that you have the update as it does address various bugs and performance issues. And to see if you have the update, as always, we head to the menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, and this will force the update. And as I mentioned, I have not received uh, the latest point release yet. So when you do get the update, um, it will push that up to go from point 0.49 to point 0.60 as mentioned. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.